Oh, uh, hello. What is this? This is not just a couple of rocks out here in the middle of nowhere. This is, this is a thing. This is a thing. A strange door. Oh. Hold on a second. Is this what I think it is? Gaius Prentice. Here comes another right. one. Madness. Why? Why? Everything is wrong. He can't be punished. Stay away from me. Punished. I won't go back. You can't make me go back. I'll kill you all. You're all going to die. Nope. Oh, and he's going mad. All right. Well, let's see who wins here. I'm putting my money on the guy with the sword. Is somebody supposed to be scripted to die here? Am I supposed to be helping somebody out? I don't know if I want to get involved. That was the strangest book I ever read. <laughs> Oblivion in a nutshell. <laughs> I'd stay back from that door if I were you. Nothing that's gone in has come out right. Yeah? It, is, it does look like a strange door, doesn't it? I don't know where it came from, and I don't want to. Those who've gone in have come back out wrong. I'm just here to warn folks to stay away. Put up a sign. What, are, they, are they paying you for this? What happened to them? Look for yourself. Their brains are addled. Got no sense. Perfectly normal people went in there. And this is what's come out. Okay, maybe I'll stay out here then. Good choice. I mean, look at the thing. No sane person would go through there. And none have come out, that's for certain. Well, that one guy did, I think. Well, I guess he's not sane, is he? <laughs> no. Unworthy, unworthy, unworthy. Seems Useless like a totally sensible meat. gentleman Ooh. to me. Bag of dung. You talking to me? Pretty big words for a weird stone head with multiple faces. A nice effort, though. Shame is dead. <laughs> These things happen. It's like the sculptor who made you didn't realize that humans only have one face. Bring me a champion. Rend the flesh of my foes. A mortal champion to wade through the entrails of my enemies. I feel like I should be concerned about this, but at the same time, I'm fascinated. You want to go in now? Really? Do come in. It's lovely in the aisles right now. Perfect time. Oh, the Shivering Isles? Yes, I've heard of them. I was planning to venture forward eventually, but now, uh, there are so many things I need to do here for now. Mike, go in. I've left some fresh baked cookies in there for you. They're chocolate chip. Uh, ooh, that is tempting, but at the same time, I don't much care for chocolate. And also... Sniff, sniff. I smell something I haven't smelled in quite some time. <laughs> it is as if a realm of sheer and utter madness lies beyond. Wobba Jack, Wobba Jack, bring <laughs> me back. Let pure madness flow throughout all Tamriel. What just happened? <laughs> you sure you want to go in? Yeah, you probably want to go in, right? Did you hear that? Did you? Voices from nowhere. Madmen. Oh, where does it end? How did I get this posting? Just lucky, I guess. You should probably go in. Yeah, let's push him in. Everybody, it's three against one. Let's push him in. Push him in. Push him in. You're going to go insane. Push him. All right. He's steadfast. Won't be moved. You keep guarding that. You keep guarding that, and we'll be back soon, all right? We'll be back to investigate this later. Don't let any other adventurers in there. Only me, because I'm the only one who won't go insane, right? Something like that. All right. We'll be back later. Behold. The elf that can conquer a half of oblivion, but not a maiden's heart. Man, love is the uh, final frontier on warfare. It, it's so difficult to understand how their minds work. Women are so complicated, and they never give you the final step of their quest. You know, you know, man, you know. Be sure to bring some cheese. Some, some cheese? Hello, it is I, chat dog. I've got to pass this arrow. But you don't give me any fiber. <laughs> Try not to eat all the cheese you're bringing along with you to the Shivering Isles. Otherwise, you might have the same issue. Alright, I gotta go to the store and pick up cheese. You probably don't have any cheese to sell me, never mind. Okay, Vilha, I picked up the cheese from the inn! Hey, chat dog. Let's head to the Shivering Isles now. Whoop. 
All right, you guys do that, and I'm gonna go to the Shivering Isles. You can catch me there. I love how you're always so jovial and enthusiastic regardless of how many insults are hurled at you and how much trouble you encounter. Yes! I'm reminded of this first grader with Downs I used to take care of. His smile would light up the room. Thanks for all the content you and Zach create. Okay, take a last look at Chat Dog and Vilha and myself, because this might be the last time we see us sane. In we go! Oh. The fringe is a bit more bureaucratic than I assumed. Hello! Yes, what can I do for you? I imagine you're here about the door. Uh, yes. I saw a strange door and I walked into it. Which is kind of short-sighted now that I say that out loud. Yes, you have entered and now you are here. Amazing. Truly. So, who are you? I am Haskell, Chamberlain to the Lord Sheagorath. Ah, yes, uh, I've heard his name mentioned before. I feel sorry for Haskell. Yeah, I guess that is, that outfit is kind of silly looking, but I, I've, I've seen worse. So what is this place? You approach the Shivering Isles. Through the door behind me lies the realm of Sheogorath, Prince of Madness, Lord of the Never There. You're never there. What? Why did that door appear in Cyrodiil anyway? Because my lord wills it to be so. It poses no danger to Mundus. No compact has been violated. Uh, okay. It is a doorway, an invitation. Perhaps you will accept it for what it is. I didn't ask why it's not there. I asked why it's there. What do you want with me? For you? I do not know. My lord seeks a mortal to act as his champion. As for his intent, to attempt to fathom it is a foolish endeavor. Awesome. I'm already the champion. His will is his own. His reality follows suit. You are here because you chose to enter. You were not summoned. Right, I walked into the door. That's what I said. Unlike those people outside who seem to have lost their mind. They entered this realm and were ill-prepared. Their minds are now the property of my lord. Oh no, I'm ill-prepared too! Can I cure them? Cured? You speak as if they are diseased. They live now in another state of being. Perhaps it is you who needs a cure. I never thought of it that way, because it's stupid. What happens now? You do as you will. You may leave the way you entered. Your life will be none the worse for your time spent here. Mm, no, no, or bye. you may continue onward, through the door behind me. If you can pass the gates of madness, perhaps the Lord Sheogorath will find a use for you. Hmm. I want to play bongo on Haskell's bald head. <laughs> it does look like a big, pretty good bongo. I don't, I don't know if I trust him, though. He says I'm free to return. I think if I try, he's going to strike me down. What happens if I go through that door? Who is to say? There are always choices to be made. The realm of madness is no different in that regard. Your choices are your own. Hmm. Enter or do not, but make your decision. I have other duties to which I must attend. Is this a one-time thing? Speak with me again when you have made up your mind. The anticipation is almost too much to bear. Okay. All right. Okay, what do you think, Vilha? Should we return the way we came? Oh, you're going to eat your glove. Vilha has already started to lose her mind. Oh, she's actually nibbling on a sweet roll. Oh, okay. Or that's a potato. She you wanted to talk to me. No, I was just looking over and you were eating your glove. All right. I know you're here, Shea Garat, you big fucking nerd. Where's my goddamn money and your ass so I can fucking kick it, you <laughs> cheese-loving fuckwit? You leave my fucking elf fuckwit alone. His soul and asshole are mine. Yeah, I'm spoken for. Because Vilha won't reciprocate my advances and is content eating a potato instead. Vilha, you are a disappointment. To, to, to me and I'm assuming as well your parents. That's right, keep eating that potato. God. Well, have you made up your mind? The tension is almost palpable. Yes, I'm calling your bluff. I'm leaving. Hmm, not surprising. Well, if you change your mind and the position is still available, come speak with me again. Okay. I'd so enjoy that. Yes, goodbye. Let's call his bluff. Yep. Oh my god, he wasn't dying. Oh, I'm going back in. 
So I thought you were lying to me, but it turns out, no, I'm free to leave whenever I want to. Could you just do it so you can help me sucker punch Shea Agarat in the face? Yeah, I'm ready to go in. Yes, yes. Change of heart? Do tell. Let's -a go! Fine. I'm sure my lord will be most pleased, assuming you ever manage to see him. Maybe we will. You'll want to pass through the gates of madness. Oh, and mind the gatekeeper. He dislikes strangers to the realm. That's not gonna like me then. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> the gatekeeper to the realm doesn't like meeting new people. Uh, maybe he should pick a different profession. Uh oh, there. Okay, there's bats. Okay, I guess we're here now. Well, he left his book behind. Oh, well, so be it. Oh, this is Shiogarath's realm, eh? Not bad. You got mushroom, giant mushrooms. You can stop eating that potato any day now, Vilha. Got some nice foliage here. So there is now significantly less bloom, and I can actually see what people look like. Dear God, that bloom was so terrible. It did make the world look nicer, I will admit. But now I can look at people in the face without their faces glowing like the surface of the sun. And welcome to the Shivering Isles. We got some mushrooms to the left, some broken pillars to the right, some more mushrooms to the right, and mushrooms everywhere. Ooh. Uh, spores? There's... <laughs> spores in front of us? Don't walk around with your mouth open? Oh, God. That was so gross. Oh, I think I got mushrooms growing in my lungs. I'm not afraid of you. Okay, what is this? What is this? I... What? The item doesn't have enough charge? What the hell? Stupid Wabajack! This is Shiogarath's weapon, right? It should have infinite power in Shiogarath's realm! Wabajack! Woo! Now he's a skelly man! And now he's on fire. Okay, well... The problem has been dealt with. Some kind of weird frog monster. Holding a staff of his own. Grumite cudgel. Grumite shield. And a bone. Okay, never mind. Keep on. Ooh. A young Bollywog. He's dead. Not my problem. Ugh. More spores. Okay. This place is kind of gross. Let's go find the Lord and murder him. A lot of ruins here, which makes me wonder what this place looked like before it was ruins. Or was it constructed in such a way to resemble ruins? Was that the aesthetic they were going for? I couldn't say. Okay, I think we may have found a town. Or the uh, Shivering Isles equivalent of a town. J. Red's house. No one's out here, so let's go in there. Hello! Hello, yes. I'm surprised to find somebody relatively normal in here. I used to think you were a hero. A holy knight and all that. I guess I should have known better. Hello, we've never met before. Uh, what can you tell me about the gatekeeper? Go up there now. The gatekeeper is about to turn some adventurers into bones. I'll collect those later. Yeah, not my bones, though. What do you know of the gates of madness? I can hear them calling to me from the other side. Okay. You're crazy, aren't you? Have you heard any rumors? Perhaps pertaining to a realm outside of the Shivering Isles, because this game is kind of glitchy. The Argonian Big Head is always searching for the fork of horripilation. Interesting. Very fascinating. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll wobba jack you later. Hello. You look slumped over like you're ill. Hello. I'm Dredwin. No one was running this place when I got here. They left plenty of things behind, though. What do you need? Why don't you show me what you have to offer on tap? Beer? A sword? More cheese? Yes, please. What can you tell me about the gatekeeper? He protects the gates of madness. He'll kill anyone who gets near. He's about to destroy some adventurers up there now. I can't wait to go see. What about the uh, pass wall that I've never heard of before? I took over the inn when I got here. There wasn't anyone living here. Except for Sheldon. He says he's mayor. Don't believe it. Okay, bye. Alright, you have fun slumped over trying to get yourself permanently bad posture. Your broken back. 
Uh, probably nothing in here. Probably gonna leave in a moment. Yeah, probably yes. not. Oh. Hello. If you think I'm interested in whatever you're selling, you're wrong. I'm not. Why don't you go play with the gatekeeper? Run along now. But I'm selling red hair dye and visine. I think you need one of those things. What do you know of the pass wall? Which is apparently what the name of this building is. Quaint, isn't it? Passwall sits in the fringe of the Shivering Isles. It's where the supplicants wait while the blessing of Sheagorath takes hold. Okay. Who are these chumps? To warn them. Yo! Maybe they're just confused. Oh, his voice is uh, broken. Gatekeeper. He guards the gates of madness. See for yourself. He's about to destroy a party of adventurers. All right, I'll go check it out. Uh, yes. Let's, uh, let's follow these guys. They're gonna go watch the execution as well. It'll be a big old shindig. We'll watch it all together. Uh, get your friends, and it'll be like a big old Zoom party. Only in person. Remember those? <laughs> Parties? Get-togethers? Yes, yes. Stay away from the gatekeeper. Let us handle this. Is that the gatekeeper? That giant three-story monster with a blade for an arm? He dead? That's okay, there's still four guys left. Oh, he's not even dead yet. Nah. Now there's four left. Yeah, but there's still three of them alive. They might wear him down, death by a thousand cuts. Okay, there's two of them. Two of them. The formidable gatekeeper has destroyed a party of adventurers. No, they're still kicking. It's still a 2v1. I should talk to the residents of Passwall before trying to deal with the creature. So that one's still alive. Look at all the blood and gore. I'm getting out of here. That one's still alive. Hey. Hey, you. He's too much. Killed all my men. Get out of my way. Does he have any weaknesses that you failed to exploit that you can inform me about? Okay, bye. Hello, I'm Sheldon. I've been here the longest. That's why I'm mayor of Passwall. That, and because I'm the best at being in charge. Ah, yes. I heard not to listen to you. Welcome to my town. Nice purple armor. Uh, so, how do I get past the gatekeeper? He guards the gates of madness. Don't get too close to him. He'll kill you. And it will leave a mess in my town. Yes, yeah, so you got a mess to clean Jared up. Jared Ice Veins wants to kill the gatekeeper. Sounds like suicide to me. Jared. All right, I think I talked to Jared before. I'll go talk to him a second time. Then to Jared we go! I don't know, Vilha, what do you think? You think we could take him on? Yeah, he's probably no match for my fireball spell. Yo, gatekeeper! I kill you! I hear you suck! And also, Wabajack! 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 Ain't doing anything! Fireball spell! Wabajack! We'll figure this out. Okay, I'm out of Magicka, but it's okay because I still got the Wabajack. Wabajack is gonna finish him, I assume. Nope, eh, never mind. Well. The Wabajack is out of Magicka, and I am out of spell, so we are just... I'm done. I'm done. All right, get him, chat dog. We, we softened him up for you. It's, it's all you, man. It's all you. You don't scare me. Wait, really? Did I fell him? I think I felled him. Okay, we have killed him. We have felled it. The, the gatekeeper is dead. I should retrieve the keys to the gates of... Okay. Okay. Um, I feel like me being so overpowered, um, may have ruined this DLC. So, you've managed to kill the gatekeeper. Pity. Well, you'll now be able to enter the realm proper. You'll notice there are two doors. We gotta do this proper. Okay, um, we're gonna pretend we're feeble and we can't best him. I, I should go talk to J-Red and figure out what his weakness is. J-Red... Can, can you assist me? Down to your level. Shut up, I'm on a very important mission now. J-Red, I hear you're looking to take down the enemy beast. I'm J-Red Ice Veins. Do you ever wonder why things look better without their skin on? You seem like such a fun instance, character. you can only really see the bones when you take them out. Right, yes. You can hear them better that way, too. So, about your ploy to destroy the gatekeeper. I want him dead. I need him dead. His bones are calling to me. Rumor has it you want him dead, too. For some reason, I don't know why. You're any good with a lockpick. 
We can help each other out. We can get into the gardens of flesh and bone. Will that assist? Okay, okay. Uh, I don't know why that's so important to you, but I can definitely lockpick it. They say the gatekeeper's magical. I don't believe in magic, but I do believe in bones. Yes. And the best way to kill something is with the bones of its own. Disagree. I can see the bones of a dead gatekeeper in the courtyard of the gardens. The door's locked, though. I mean, I... You'll pick that lock, and I'll collect the bones. Then I'll make some arrows, and we'll kill the gatekeeper. Sound good? I've tried to bludgeon other people to death with a femur, and it's just not as effective as using swords or fireballs. I don't follow the logic here, but... Sure, let's get this bone for you. Here, take this lockpick. Careful, it's the only one I've got. You open the door, I'll kill things. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's not like I got a skeleton key or anything. I'm... All right, fine. Let's go. <laughs> this guy must have run track in high school. He is he is not a slouch. He's not slow in the slightest. Oh, uh, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm still dragging all this dead weight behind me. Are those bone right, arrows? Get that door open. Oh, my gosh. Yes, fine. Got it. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Hold on. There you go. There you go. All right, you see the bones of a dead gatekeeper? There, okay. Um, Wobba Jack? I think that made it better. What the hell am I fighting here? Bones of a, Are those more gatekeepers? I don't even know. Well, now it's a troll. I'm not even fighting things. I'm just transmuting them. whoosh -ah! And now you're a goblin. Okay. Oh, hold on. I got a few more to transmute. <clears throat> no. No, you stay dead. You know what I hate about the Wabajack? That it stops being useful after four swings. Umbra time! Ooh. Sorry, you were collateral damage in that, but I got him. Don't worry. Oh, there he is. Okay, he was just pretending to be dead. So... I think we've cleared the courtyard. And this is him, huh? Yeah, interesting looking guy. From these gatekeeper bones, I can make some arrows. When will these bone arrows be ready? Find me in a few hours. We'll kill the gatekeeper. Okay, there's no way an arrow made out of bone is aerodynamic in the slightest, but you're the boss. I used to think you were a hero. Shut up, give me the bone arrows. The arrows are ready. Here are some for you, and I'll keep some. Okay. Let's go kill the gatekeeper. We might die, but there's worse things. Oh, you'll definitely die. Don't worry. Follow me. Let's go. My new comrade in arms. Yes. J Red Ice Vein, Vilha, Chat Dog, and Mike the Mage Magician, Archmage Master, Cheating Elf. Yes. Time to fight fire with fire and fight bones with bones. Wacha! Oh! Felled in one single hit. Not, oh, he's not dead yet. <laughs> okay, felled in three hits, right? Hold on, let's make sure he's dead. Okay, the gatekeeper is dead, yes! The gatekeeper is slain, congratulations. The honor of taking the keys from his corpse is yours. Oh, you didn't want them? You, oh, that's right. You just want the bones. Okay. So, what do you know about the gatekeeper other than the fact that now he's dead? The gatekeeper's dead. As soon as you get one of those doors unlocked, we can go in. They're calling to me from in there. Oh, are you literally going to be a companion that's going to join me? Excellent. Welcome to the team. We're going to go through the gates of madness, and then we're going to have so much fun. We might even find some ice cream. You can have it. I'm not a big fan of ice cream, but I know other people do, and I'm happy to share it with you. As soon as you get those doors unlocked, I'm going in. I bet you are going to get all the ice cream for yourself. Oh. So, you've managed to kill the gatekeeper. Pity. Well, you'll now be able to enter the realm proper. You'll notice there are two doors. I didn't notice, no. One leads to the lands of Mania, the other to Dementia. Enter through either one. The lands are quite distinct, but both are Sheagorath's domain. Can I go through one before the other? You'll want to seek out Lord Sheagorath. I believe he has plans for you. Try not to disappoint him. Okay. 
So, um, sorry I killed that guy, but I had to get to the gate somehow, right? Would you recommend Dementia over Mania, or...? The lands of Dementia reflect the darker side of its residents. It is easy to get lost among the tangle of roots growing out of the ground. If you wish to meet Dementia's citizens, seek them out in Deepwallow or Felmore. I'm sure they'll welcome one such as you with open arms. I'm sure. And what about Mania? The lands of Mania are bright, vibrant, and full of color. Awesome! You'll find its inhabitants reflect the land itself. Cool. If you wish to meet the residents of Mania, you'll find them in the settlements of Hale and Highcross. Take care that... Though the citizens and creatures of Mania are colorful, they can often be quite deadly. Aw, oh, man. Sounds like Mania is the place for me. I am down for Mania. So... Shograth. Seems like a pretty important dude. He is the Prince of Madness, the ruler of the Shivering Isles. It is by his will that we exist in this place. He is our lord and master. Okay, maybe I'll find him. You'll want to speak with him soon, as I believe he has plans for you. You will find him in New Sheoth, in his palace. Oh, <laughs> okay. It is best not to make Lord Sheogorath wait. His whims are fleeting, and should he decide you are no longer necessary... It would be to your detriment. Yeah, he's temperamental, I've seen. So I am going to go visit him right now. Enlightening, as always. You sure you don't want to come with me, man? Come on, I'm about to get killed by Sheogarath. Oh, you want their bones, huh? Yeah. One track of mine with this guy. What do you call a bear without an ear? B. Bear? <laughs> ah, you removed the E-A-R from his name. Ah. Ah, uh, chat dog and goddamn jokes. And also an arrow in his butt. Yeah, going actually right through him. Wow, that, that penetrated right through him. That, that's... And, he, and he's still shaking his tail like he doesn't even care. All right, that's... He's, he's got jokes and, and wounds. Jokes and wounds. 